Hello everybody, welcome back again to Building Egyptian Technology. Dear friends, today well, we will see um, checklist uh, for completing. In my, <coughs> in my last series of checklist video, last video was checklist for PCC. Okay. Um, last time I have uploaded checklist for PCC. So today we shall see checklist for concreting. Okay, friends. So if you haven't seen my checklist for PCC and excavation, foundation excavations, okay, which I have already um, uploaded in my YouTube channel. So if you need that one, you are requested to go and watch that one in my YouTube play, uh, playlist in my youtube playlist or i will give you link in i button okay so let us see today um, checklist for concreting okay so in today's uh, concreting checklist we shall see what are the things that you need to uh, remember before concreting okay so it's very important to know that i hope you will enjoy this topic or tutorial today uh, so without further delay, let us see first what is concrete and all. Okay, after that we shall move on to the checklist for concrete. Okay, so here is uh, what is concrete. As all of you know, it's very easy uh, like terms. Okay, so con okay. concrete is nothing. It's uh, just a mass of some mixture of inert metal with cement. Okay. So let us see the definitions of concrete. Okay. So here I have written concrete is a composite mass which is obtained by mixing some inert materials with cement. Right. So there are like different kind of uh, definition that you can give. Okay. According to your understanding. So <clears throat> that is the definition of concrete huh? in simple terms. So, uh now let us see uh, the checklist for concreting okay so what are the things that you need to check before concreting okay so without any further delay let us start now so here we go we are here now in excel sheet okay so we will see checklist for concreting okay so as usual okay the format is same okay so format is same for all the checklist okay last time also i have uh, like uh, uploaded no all i already told you that uh, i have uploaded checklist for footing or uh, foundation uh, foundation excavation and then uh, for pcc okay so today we shall see checklist for concreting okay so as usual just you give this checklist heading here okay as i have given you and then next you can give project name of your project client name okay who is your client documents number okay like quality and uh, uh, what we call quality assurance checklist concreting 001002 whatever it okay so contractor uh, name here you can give who is the contractor okay then site oh, your site uh, what are the site project something like that okay and then location where you start work going on and that of custom structure what kind of structure is that either footing beam or uh, slab whichever you are custom okay that you need to write it down here and maximum aggregate size what are the maximum aggregate that you are using in that particular concrete okay and slum you need to record what are what are the means uh, uh, means how much is the slum i mean okay how much is the slum that you obtain okay that one you need to write it here and cement test certificate numbers also you need to give if you if you have and then steel test certificate also you need to give if you have but that's uh, not needed okay and in some other companies okay which is like uh, mnc companies they might need this one okay but i have not given anything like this okay so cement certificate number or steel test number, yeah so if you need then you can give or if needed then you don't need to give it okay so now let us see the 
point okay one by one <coughs> so here is the uh, checklist okay here i have given 12 uh, checklist okay, before completing okay so let us know what are the things that you need to check before pouring concrete okay so the first one is so you write pre concreting here before concreting as i said the first one is check surface preparations okay so surface preparation means like um, whether the surface is clean or not uh, is there any dust or some scales of concrete and all okay or where the whether the surface is clean what we call neat and clean or not okay so you need to check that one as well okay since our like um, your pcc should be free from mud and all okay and then your reinforcement also should be free from mud and rusting okay so that 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 surface checking uh, you should you know give attention in this checklist also okay so surface uh, preparation means it should be leveled okay your surface should be leveled and okay? not up and down something like that. next is check for from work and staging check for from work and staging uh, means like you know see uh, for any like concreting we need some soldering materials and centering materials okay so you need to check uh that uh you need, and after that you need to make ensure that you need to ensure that whether the from work that you are using is good one or not or needed cleaner or not and the staging that you are using is like rigid enough or not or strong enough or not to support the load okay that one also you need to check the form work is the suttering and staging means the centering okay that support staging means support okay so if it is given and all okay then you can give yes or if not no okay or if not applicable then mark here take here yes not applicable. okay next is your like uh, what we call conduit duct opening insert plate provided okay see in like in in any uh, in any buildings okay uh, we need to provide conduit duct opening and some in some other cases we need to insert plate also okay so wherever you need okay according to your drawings if there is some uh, conduit means like electrical conduit or duct that means like opening for your uh, what we call sanitary fittings and all for pipes and, huh. and sometimes you may need to provide plates okay wherever you applicable or wherever uh, needed if you are uh, having um in your project then that you need to check okay so if uh, like uh, it's all provided and no doubt you can give yes and if not then you have to say no and then you need to direct the workers or the concern authority to provide a conduct or opening in your structure okay now next is check for a provision of vibrator okay see vibrator we need vibrator for casting our concrete right so without vibrator um, compaction or consolidation cannot be obtained okay proper compaction so so you need to check that there whether the provision okay uh, enough relevance for uh, like vibrator uh, to insert a vibrator is given or not in that particular or oh, what structure okay so you need to check that one hmm. check for provision of vibrator okay so according accordingly you give yes no or not applicable huh? now next is five work condition of mixture or vibrator checked and gaps between plates in mixture drum to be checked okay working condition of mixture or vibrator that you have to check it whether the mixer machine or vibrator okay that which you will be using in your work it should be uh like free from defect or should not go out of order while working okay otherwise it will be a problem it will get lots of problems okay so you need to check that one whether like uh, your vibrator and mixer machine uh, what sorry your whether your vibrator and mixer machine is working or not or whether it is in good condition or not okay so you need to check that one also and make sure that there is no any defect in your condition uh, sorry mixer machine and vibrators okay 
Then next is number six, access platform and walkways, if repair provided. See, access platform and walkways means like uh, sometimes like we need some platforms and then uh, walkways for levers to work around together. Okay? That we need to provide, okay, in some cases. But if you don't need that one, then no problem, okay, since it is hidden if required, okay. So if you need that one, if it is provided, then you click yes. If not provided, then click no. Okay? But if you need, then you have to direct again to your um, concern authorities to provide walkways and platform for the levers to work around, okay. I hope you understood that one. And next, let us move to next uh, checklist. Seven number, okay. Check reinforcement as per drawings. See, this is very important, uh, like uh, checklist, okay. Uh, <clears throat> this, according to your drawing, huh, you need to check your reinforcement, okay. So all the reinforcement, all the spacing, all the dia of the word, huh, whether all those things are in place or not you have to check that one okay in reinforcement checking as per doing you need to like remember all the things okay what are the things that you need to keep in mind all this you should have to check like checking of spacing dia of bars how many of bars and <clears throat> like dia of stirrups and all hmm, development length and chorus length all these things that you need to check and keep in mind to check those things okay now let us move to number eight checklist that is check embedded parts embedded check embedded parts means like some sometimes we like provide some embedded uh, what we call materials like maybe it may be like dual bars or maybe some development lengths whether it is correct or not or maybe anchor bolt okay for future some kind of uh, like works no we provide some plates and then anchor bolts okay so all those things whether it has been provided or not if you need that one okay if you need to provide that one then you need to check it okay if not needed if you don't have any kind of work like that but which i have told you okay then you no need to pay attention to this okay second bit first <clears throat> okay so now next the most important one okay nine check list nine okay check cover to reinforcement okay you need to check covering provided to your reinforcement okay and then like uh, <clears throat> sorry my screen check cover for reinforcement means like your uh, cover to reinforcement okay i know that you i hope you know and what are the means minimum covering needed for particular structure okay if not i will tell you that okay now next check plumbed plumb uh, checking is important for to maintain the verticality of a uh, structure like column beam side etc okay so you need to check that one whether the side of the or column is in vertical position or not okay so you need to um, ensure that whether this, that particular uh, structure like beam and column is in vertical position or not okay you need to check that one with plan next a, a reduced level you need to check okay reduced level means the level of the particular uh structure okay uh, <clears throat> all those things with your uh auto level and all huh? okay so i hope it, it will be in your uh, sectional elevation drawing or some uh, structural drawing or foundation drawing okay it will be mentioned here this reduce level and all okay so you just refer that in your from your drawing and then you can check it okay by yourself and next is check for concrete check for concrete means it's a poor card okay if you don't know what is pro I will explain you and give checklist for pro card as well, okay, in my next video. So, in, what are the things that you need to include in pro card? I will explain that one in my next video, okay. So, we have covered all the checklist for 
concreting okay um, and then other is as usual which i have explained already before okay which, uh, in remarks some quality engineer quality control engineer will give remarks or client will give remarks here okay whether whatever the works you have done whether it's correct or satisfactory or not that they will give remarks here okay or any or need any correction or not they will write it down here then they will give signature approved by that remarks if anything okay so that is the end of my like checklist tutorials today okay so i hope i could explain you nicely and we shall see in the next video friends please don't forget to subscribe my video i mean my channel and then share with your friends and press the bell icon to get notification like this okay as i used to um, like upload videos every day okay so like this and most importantly i do uploads job uh, vacancies videos as well every day so no, no need to miss anything important that i upload so press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel so thank you um, and lots of love from my channel and from me bye bye